Hi, and welcome to week seven's um, to-do list homework. So we're going to get started. You should be seeing this. You can see that we're going to be working on concepts of print this week and alphabetic principle. Both are going to be starting this area, um, especially alphabetic principle. We're going to slowly turn into phonics. You'll see here that practice your phonograms. Um, and to read chapter two, which is about the alphabetic principle, and chapter five, which is learning how to teach the sounds that letters represent. And the notebook pages are there for you. Also, if you would open up this, uh, I'll put in here the link. So open up the link to this. PowerPoint and you can follow along. I have two things that I'd like you to copy, um, print out, and that would be tab 10 and tab 11. Tab 10 looks like this, and it will be the standards that we'll talk about for concepts of print. And tab 11 will look like this. It's about the alphabetic principle and what standards apply to this topic as well. When you open up the PowerPoint or also this recording, you'll see that we're going to be talking about concepts of print mostly for homework at the beginning, but your chapters will be mostly about alphabetic principle. I want you to read over the objectives and you're going to be using pages 80 and 81 in your notebook. On the next slide, you'll see I summarized and put in the standards for concepts of print, but we also have a thing called concepts of word. And what would I want you just to take an educated guess, which ones would be about concepts of print? and which ones would be getting a concept of what a word is. So put those in your notebook, pause and stop. As you go on to the next slide, it's talking about just what are concepts of print. There's two short, there's a, um, links in here to look at and to one to watch and one to read. Okay, pause and then go to the next slide. All right, copy this definition down in your notebook. Pause and go to the next slide when you're ready. Here again, take some notes about what are different concepts of that we use for concepts of print. Put that in your notebook. Pause and when you're ready, go to the next slide. Here are some more. When we go to the next slide, we're going to be talking about the next objective uh, or this this objective about just concepts and take some more notes. When you're ready, this isn't something you have to draw, but you can if you want to. Um, it's kind of like a web of all the different things that are covered by concepts of print. And I thought it was a good visual. When you're ready, pause and then go on to the next. On objective three, put these in your notebook about reasons why we teach concepts of print and why it's important. Pause. When you're ready, go on to the next slide. Here's objective four. How do we teach concepts of print and concepts of word? So there's three quick little places to look on reading Reading Rockets, the website, for you to investigate. And then there's a question over here as well. What other ideas have you seen or done before? Pause when you're ready to go on. Click the next slide. And last, here's objective five. These would be possible challenges with ELLs. Put these in your notes. Um, there's also at the very bottom, for example, this is Hebrew, I think this is Hebrew cursive. 
and you can kind of watch this little link and why students who know Hebrew would have difficulty with English. When you're done, submit all of those pictures from those pages, and I'll see you in class. Bye.